Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial was created based on the request of one of my friends on the channel and uh, he asked me about mass spring Dumbra system and how we can simulate this in PTC Creo. Uh, I already made a video about this but uh, I think this will be a better version. Before we start it's very important to define a working directory so for me I will place a folder on my desktop and I will call it mass then let's start with a new part and here make sure to remove this option and I will call this frame and here make sure to select this option part solid mm and s then hit ok and here is the system we have. We need to draw this a frame for now. So go to the top plane and start a sketch there. Then let's have the normal view. Pick a center rectangle and then select equal, select this line and select this one. After that, finish this command and double click this dimension and set it to 10. Then finish the sketch and select extrude and let's set this to 2. This one won't have any effect on the analysis because it will be fixed anyway. After that, select shaded with edges and I want to hide the plane display and the axis and the coordinate system. Now I want to place a point here so it will be the reference of placing the spring and the damper. So start a sketch here and simply pick a point and place it somewhere here. Make sure to select this point because when you select this point you will be able to see it in the 3D but when you select this one it will only be related to the sketch itself. Now, you can see the point here, we have it. If not, simply go to hidden lines and here you can see the point. Now, right click here and select edit material and I'll go to legacy materials and for this one I will select steel, then hit OK. After finishing the frame, let's create a new part and this time I will call it mass then hit OK and make sure to select mm and s part solid then hit OK and here we need to draw the mass so select the top start a sketch and once again select equal then select this line and this one then Let's set this to 10, sorry. After that, extrude it to 10. And then we need to place another point. So click here, start a sketch, and select point, and place it in the middle. Once you have this point, make sure to save your work. And now let's go back to the previous file and save this part too. And now let's create the assembly. Cannot have this space here. Before going there, let me define the material here. So I need to go to the mass. Right click mass, then edit materials. And from legacy, select steel. Now let's create an assembly file and I will call it mass-spring. Make sure to remove this option so we can select the system of units we want and I will use mm and s assembly design then hit ok. Now go to tree filters and make sure to show the features and the placement and annotations. 
and then let's import the first part which is the frame once you have it here as you can see it has six degrees of a freedom and since it's the frame it should be totally fixed which means it's not allowed to have any degrees of a freedom so the number of degrees of a freedom here should be zero and that's why you will set it to default and here to rigid once done as you can see we don't have any degree of a freedom now then hit ok I will rotate the view so I will have this point down then I will insert the mass and once you place any component as you can see you have six degrees of freedom so now if you go back here I want this mass only to move in this direction which means we only want one degree of freedom in this direction and that's why if you select planner then if you select this face with this one then these will be planner to each other all the time then go to placement and select new set then select this one with this one and now hit ok now this cube has only one degree of freedom which is in this direction to make sure select a drag component then select this cube then try to move it it moves up and down but try to move it to the left or to the right it doesn't move as you can see here i have a small problem because the point is on th on this face and i want it to be here we have many solutions but let's go with the easiest one i will simply start a sketch here and then select point and place it here then finish the sketch and make sure to save then let's go back to the assembly here we have another point if you can't see it simply click here then you can see all the points we have once done with the assembly everything is fine the material is defined and we don't have any extra degrees of freedom we only have this one now we are ready to go to applications then mechanism here the first case is when only having a spring so select springs select this point then grab this one and place it here now we have this spring and you need to define the stiffness let's start with 100,000 and here for the for current this means this is the current length of this spring I will set this to 10 and as you can see the current position of or, or sorry the current length of this spring is this value you can change some parameters like if you go to options you can adjust this diameter you can set it to 3 and now hit ok so now we have this spring placed and we already have the material defined and finally we need to define the direction of the gravity so select the gravity from here and make sure to select hidden lines and here as you can see we need to flip this direction so it's in the negative y i will only turn it to positive value and here we have it correct then let's go back to shaded with edges and let's go to mechanism analysis here we want to run a dynamic analysis i want the time not to exceed one second and go to external loads and make sure to enable gravity then hit run then stop the analysis you don't want to have a lot of cycles once done with this go to measures and here select new i want to measure the amplitude and i will measure that based on the position of this point because this point will keep going up and down so if we measure the displacement it makes then we will have the amplitude this amplitude once done hit ok then select this analysis with this selected select 
a graph selected measures. And here you have the response. If you want to have less cycles, you can change these parameters. If you go back to dynamic, set this to one, let's say. And then for the external loads, enable gravity, then run the simulation and stop it here. And once again, go to measure, select the last analysis you did with this one selected, then select this one and here you have the response as you can see we have no damping here because we don't have any damper if you try to run this for a longer time you will notice some damping and the reason behind that is the material properties in addition to that in such a system here it's assumed that this is a point mass which means it has no geometry but here we have some kind of geometry and that affects the analysis but overall so this is the response of this system. Now, let's talk about adding a damper, which is easy. Go to dampers, then select this point. You need to grab this one and place it on the other point. And here you need to define the damping coefficient. I will set it to 0 0.05 for now. And once again, go to mechanism, dynamic, set this to one second, external loads, enable gravity, then run. Then stop the analysis and hit OK and go to measure it once again. And here it's obvious that we have some damping in the system because the amplitude gets smaller and smaller. Another case I would like to show you, it happens when we have extra damping, so select the definition for the damper, and instead of this value, I place it to 0.1, then hit OK, and here we need to run the analysis once again. And notice the effect of increasing the damping. Let's increase it more. Now, this won't result with any good result because the system is already at rest, so we don't have any initial condition. To have an initial condition, you can drag this component somewhere here, let's say. And now, if we try to run the analysis once again, Let's go back to measures, select the last one you did, which is 7. So once again, let's give it another initial condition. And for the damper, let's set this to point 0.2 this time. And so on. You can change these parameters all the time and then you can check the response of the system. I hope that this answers your question and please if you have any other questions let me know. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.